Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 17 in chapter 3. In this one, uh, we consider the position function in three components, i, j, k. This is the problem. Uh, it gives us a function, the position fun as a function of time. And it write in this way. And there we can see we have the three components, i, j, k. And then in i component, it change with time t. In j component, it is a constant. And in the k component, it changes with k, t square. And it asks us to find the velocity and the acceleration as a function of time. In this one, when we consider these problems, there this velocity and this acceleration is the instantaneous velocity and acceleration, right? And then for this uh, velocity, it is a derivation dr dt, remember? And acceleration is dv dt. So let's see how we do it. Because we know the uh, position function as time is in this way, and then we can take the derivation for the position with t. So there, this t disappear because it's t power 1, and then this is constant 0, and then 1 times 2 times t, so negative 2t there. And then we find the velocity is also a function with time t, because in the k component, it changes with time t. And in this one, we can see uh, we can get the acceleration by taking the derivation dv dt in there. This, this Term is constant, drop it, and then we get a constant negative two. So negative two constant in this one. In this way, we can see in these problems, it just is a combination about the vector with the acceleration velocity we learned in previous, right? In this one, we, we just need to consider the motion in different directions. We can in this case we consider the motion in x component in J component, in K component, and we solve them one by one. Okay, thank you.